Here's another little walk um, through my gardens. Um, these are developing. These are our, this is our backyard. We have our back porch here and look out over there's my little mountain I get to look at here in Mineral Bluff. Um, some of these plants were already here. Um, the butterfly bushes, the crocosmia, I feel Russian when I say that. Um, we're here, I've planted other things. I've got a chast tree. Um, I had a swamp hibiscus, Texas star. Let's see, I've got snackers. And I ended up having to cage it. I do have another spout, uh, sprout coming up, if you can see it right there. I didn't think the deer would mess with it. And man, they chomped that thing. I was so disappointed. Uh, crab apple tree. This I do want to kind of get cleared. We had a tree that fell. We're going to get that ground eventually. Um, and I think as I was standing one day up on our back porch up there, I was looking out and I was like, this, what all the shrubbery, the growth wasn't here because it was in uh, late winter, early spring. And I go, oh my gosh, a new garden area. And I, I'll show you my, I'll do a video of my new garden area that I'm working on that my husband has like been rolling his eyes. Um, and I just literally took my hand and slapped myself. Um, it's like, I don't need another garden area. But what I think I'm going to do when it, like probably in the fall, um, is get more of this, the shrub, uh, low growth stuff out of here. I do have some like black cherry right here. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, oh, look, can y'all see that? Little blue, a uh, big blue jay just flew on. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, um, do some flowering trees, some, a red bud, eastern red bud, um, flowering cherry. I had the one flowering cherry. I've been putting it off for so long to buy it. Bought it last year and I, you can't plant, I guess, March, April because that's when the ambrosia beetle came out, comes out, emerges, and it attacked, since it was a young tree, attacked my beautiful cherry tree. I was just crushed. So I'll probably plant maybe in the fall, but um. A lot of, like this ajuga, I don't, I got to do something with this. It's just spread. And this was here. Um, our little kitty is buried right there by the bird feeder. She passed last year. She was like 17 and a half. Quite a sassy girl. Um, we got our fire pit. This wood pile is just like growing because we keep cutting trees down. Um, but then this garden over here. Here is the fence garden. If you didn't see that video, it's a little bit longer, so go watch it. Um, aren't these beautiful? It says Japanese irises, but they're like velvety. They're such a dark, dark purple. I don't know if they're Siberian or Japanese, but this will be, um, these are my zinnia seedlings, and I got in the cups, if you can see the cups back there. Those are marigolds, um, kind of as a deterrent for the deer. I do have some sunflowers, so I kind of want to make a barrier. Um, yeah, so some of this, the Crocosmia is here. But a lot of it here I've planted. Um, I got a Father Gila. Um, sweet shrubs. Um, beauty bushes. Beauty berry bushes. A bunch of pollinator plants. Tons of uh, milkweed uh, for Cynthia. It needs to be trimmed. And the Coreopsis underneath it needs to be moved. Um, we have a flower here called um, Sundrops, and those should be blooming soon. See, look. Darn it. There's another one. That means they came all the way up here. We have a ring camera, but it's not ringing when they come up here. But look here. So that's a, um, that is a goldenrod. They like the goldenrod, but this is a milkweed. Aslepias tuberosa is getting ready to bloom. And I tried asparagus for the first time. And this little ferny thing is um, first year's growth. So hopefully next year, I've been told we'll start to see it. Itea, sweet shrub, love that. Great pollinator plants, more milkweed, um, echinacea, liatris, coral vine, mallows. Just a lot of things. I have some more straw flowers here, some little amaryllises. So yeah, so this is our back garden and just wanted to show y'all and uh, enjoy the view. 
love it in the winter. I think these two trees right there, if you can see if that's showing up right there, need to go. So we can see there's another little hill mountain to the left, but it's, it's a joy being up here. Y'all have a blessed day and uh, be happy.